Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Do you know what time it is? Craft time. Well, let's get crafting. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Diet, and welcome back to Turtle Creativity. And as I said, it is craft time. So today's craft project is going to be a crayon art abstract art project so we're going to create this using the melting crayon technique so on one of our craft with me lives i created this um, abstract art piece that is used with just crowns that i just melted onto canvas and then i sprayed it with uh some mod podge gloss spray to give it that shine so we're going to do something similar and recreate this project for you to create this what you would need is put this aside some crayons <laughs> um a canvas you can either use a heat gun or you can use a hair dryer so i'm going to show you both techniques in the same um, project so you can see that both techniques work. So if you don't have a heat gun, don't worry about it. You can still have fun and create this using a plain old hair dryer. Um, I have just a little old knife just to hold the crown in place so that when you uh, move it around as it melts, you can kind of move it around and kind of hold it in place. It's still a little tricky, but the knife works for me. And then what I have is a buck is a container of warm water because in order to get the paper off the crowns that's the easiest thing for me all right let's get to this y'all i'm going to be using i want to use green now these crowns are kind of left over from the project that we did on saturday with craft with me live so if you're wondering like how does she have so many blues and greens and one container that's why <laughs> um, I'm gonna add like a little red in it so we're kind of going with blue red blue green red add a little orange in there I have a gray too that I can use and then left over from our project from Sunday, I have some yellow. So I'm just gonna reach over and grab some yellow. Now this is what I say I'm using now, but y'all, I may change it up. <laughs> and y'all be like, where is the red? Where is the orange? She said she was using those colors. I don't see them. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> you know how it goes. But anyway, so these already have the paper off of it. And the good thing about this project is that Say that as you take the paper off and you decide, oh, I don't want to use the orange color. That's okay. You can save it for when you use it again. And guess what? Like I'm doing with these, the paper is already off of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to show you what we're going to do with this technique. Put this to the side. Um, I already have some green and yellow already broken. Uh, not broken, but already have the paper off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start while these crowns in here are getting the paper loose. Now, like I said, you can use a heat gun. So if you have a heat gun, you can just hold the heat gun. that go ahead and melt
and see I'm just using the knife to spread it around Ta -da! now if you do not have a heat gun I'm going to show you I'm just going to break a piece of the green off and I'm going to show you how to use it with a hairdryer now same thing hold it in place turn my hair dryer on Like I said, you see how it got away from me? <laughs> it got away from me, but that's okay. I caught it. That's why I try to use the knife. going to slowly roll that I don't know some of you are probably like is she going to keep when she had it flying across the thing out in there yep I am because we are real artists here <laughs> all right friends I'm just going to move this up and try to hold this in place All right, so right now I have shown you how to do it. The yellow I did with the heat gun and the green I did with the hair dryer. And as you can see, both are melted those crowns just fine. Now, let me show you about the crowns that's in the water. So as you can see, friends, if you put the crown in the warm water, see how easy the paper is to take it off the crown? So we have red here, just breaking a piece. And um, so then they, these are the blue, we're gonna take the blue out. And I will be breaking a piece for my project with the blue. Now, if you have, um, if you use crowns or you have children who use crowns and you have those broken pieces crowns, don't throw those broken pieces of crowns away because definitely they can create wonderful art projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and let those two crowns, those two need to sit a little bit longer. Grabbing a paper towel for my hands. And then we're gonna pick up our heat gun and continue on. And like I said, whether you use a heat gun, whether you can see hair dryer, you can see that both work well. I'm gonna move the red and I'm gonna go ahead with my blue. Let's turn it on. And again, it's gonna melt it down. And while it's melting, you can move the crayon. Be gentle. All right, and I'm moving that crown around. 
just to create a design. All right, now I'm gonna go in um, with some red. I think we put red over here. And I'm letting the crayon drip down on the edges because I have like a little edge with the, with the canvas there and I wanna make sure that the color gets there as well. All right. And again, now I'm gonna show you again with the hair dryer because I don't want you to think I prefer one over the other because both tools work awesome. Now I'm going to add doo, doo, doo. this red. I'm going to relocate it right there. I'm gonna put some blue. I'm just breaking the crowns and putting some blue. However you would like for it to go. I'm gonna switch back to the heat gun. Again, I'm showing you that you can use either a heat gun or a hair dryer. All right, I'm going to put a yellow right there. All right, so let me show you what I have so far. <laughs> I'm gonna add some orange. I'm gonna put those orange, orange pieces there. And again, I'm flip-flopping between the heat gun and hair dryer because I wanna show you that 
you can make beautiful art with either a heat gun or a hair dryer. All right, and as you can see, I also as because when the crowns melt and harden, you still can kind of move the colors around with the heat. So you saw me as I was melting the orange, I still was kind of doing that as well. All right, we're gonna, let me add some yellow there. I want some yellow here. Kind of want some yellow there. <laughs> so let's get melting. all right and yes you see a little the little heat because yes it is hot but i'm gonna put a little green there and we're gonna put some more colors right there and then we're almost finished this project
all right I want to add yellow there and then I also want to add some more yellow on top and the good thing like I said about this is that if you see you need to add more color you can add more color to it you could add it on top of the color And I'm just going to put um, some red right there. And then I believe we'll be finishing up this project, friends. All right, friends, I just going to move that right there. And I'm going to call that complete. <laughs> Y'all want to see? I'm going to move it. Some is still wet and you still can kind of move it around. Da, 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 da. Melted crown art. Abstract art. What do you think? Definitely you could create out, out art out of any medium. And today we definitely chose to make this abstract art out of melted crayons. Now, I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. And then once that happens, we'll be ready to add, to spray the Mod Podge gloss. Now, what this does is it gives it a, a shiny appearance. So, and as I'm looking, it doesn't take long for the crown to dry. So we have this, and now let's go ahead and spray. And there we have it, our finished do-it-yourself melted crown abstract canvas art. Tell me what you think. Do you like this? Would you like to try this um, yourself or with your children at home? Let me know what colors you would have chose for this art project. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.